So after doing the video on my overall thoughts of the 2022 electric Mini, I thought it'd be fun to share with you all my opinions of the 2022 Mini Cooper S convertible. First of all, I think the redesign is pretty good looking. The convertible in this zesty yellow is probably one of the best looking colors I've seen. I love the black trim on it. It really seems to work with the overall aesthetic of the car. The new wheels, which are really cool. I really like the look of that. I think it overall is just a very, very nice looking vehicle. And in this yellow, it makes it a more noticeable car. Overall, I'm impressed with that. I think the redesign in general is a very good redesign. Yes, people have been complaining about the fact that it doesn't have fog lights. However, I think it works in the sense of the way this car is designed. It's designed to be simple. They were cleaning up the lines when they redesigned the car. So this is all cleaned up and made to look more tidy, more simplified, more um, modern, and it really works. The use of the darker insides on the headlights reminiscent of the GP3 and the new tinted tail lights, which are also from the GP3, give it a very good look. I like the brake ducts in the front of the car because it gives it a nice look to me. Now, if you haven't noticed, and I will show you a picture here, the styling on the front is reminiscent of the R56. Now, hear me out with that. That's because of the way the lines are around the grill, how it comes down and comes around those brake ducts. And those are pretty big brake ducts right there. So overall, the aesthetic is very similar and it's kind of a hearkening back to the previous generations. The Union Jack roof on the convertible is very cool. The new rear bumper is very, very nice as well. Very clean, not a lot of overhang and everything. That interior though is where things get really interesting. That is an amazing interior and that yellow checkered. And we're gonna get to that in a second here, but I really like the way that interior looks. Now, for those of you wondering why there are no marker lights on the wheel arches, that's because these are the European spec cars for the promotion of the car, the release, and the ones in the US will have marker lights on the wheel arches. Getting to the interior, the new interior design is really cool. I like this yellow checkered, as I said, it's a very kind of airy, kind of modern, kind of fun, more like a, more like a driving it on the beach, on the Pacific Coast Highway, wherever you want to take this car. It's very colorful and very inviting. And it's a cloth leatherette. So it's similar to the black pearl cloth that we've already had, but this is now in a yellow checked pattern. And it's just a really, really nice aesthetic. It has the right look. It's just a pretty, it's just a really pretty color. Now, of course, we have the redesigned dashboard with the new digital dash, the new center screen here with the nice smooth surface, that new LED trim ring's pretty cool. The other LED lighting they've added, the new vents are really cool looking. They just, they just really did a nice job of redesigning the interior of the car. Now, naturally, we haven't seen the car in person, so I'm sure it'll look very different in light, out in the public, out where we can actually get a really good glance at it. But I think from the photographs we've been seeing of the car, it is really, really cool. And I think these press photos just give it kind of a really rock star quality, which is kind of a neat thing to do. I love this yellow. I really hope they offer this yellow on the rest of the Mini lineup because I just think it's really cool looking. It's a color I wouldn't mind having on the Mini. And if they offered it on the JCW, I probably would get that color. Oddly enough, I think this color would look fantastic on a JCW, and if they offered it on a JCW, I probably would get one. I just think it looks really cool. Now, for those of you who might be curious what those vents are running around the front of the bumper, that is an air curtain thing. That is for improved aerodynamics and fuel efficiency. So if you look at pictures where you can actually see them, it actually does cut through the front bumper. Very similar to the vents that you see on the wheel arches of the Mini Countryman and the Mini Clubman. Now, for those of you who think that the grill might be too big, it's a trim piece. So it actually surrounds the grill. Now, for those of you who think that the grill opening is too small, if you look close to the edge of the trim ring, you'll see that there are vents that go in through that grill. So there actually is quite a bit of ventilation into the radiator to keep the car cool. So they didn't really remove anything there. They didn't make the grill smaller. They didn't make the grill necessarily bigger. What they did is they made a trim piece bigger. Now, we've already seen the side scuttles. I really like those. The new LED is very nice, a little less chrome than there's been on the previous generations. The new wheels are kind of interesting. I like the style. I think it's kind of cool. They do have other designs available, and I've seen some of those, and I have a favorite already that I like. We still have those fantastic twin exit exhaust pipes. We still have the, the rear fog light for the European markets. For the US market, that'll just be a light lens that's there with no actual function. 
the overall front end of the car, from my perspective, is that it seems more square. It seems like they squared it off more, which gives it kind of more of a classic look. It really kind of ties it back into the classic minis and even to a degree, the first gen and second gen modern mini. It really kind of just makes things look better to me. In the side profile, you'll obviously notice that the front and rear overhangs are much, much different. The front overhang has been reduced by at least three inches by the looks of it. And I've been told on the fourth gen mini that's gonna be reduced even further. Now, one of the things I love about the F57 mini convertible is that it's by far probably one of the best looking minis in convertible form that we've seen over the course of the last previous generations of the mini. This one just seems like the proportions are right and the styling is right. I don't know what it is exactly. I think it's the way the lines flow, but it just seems like it's, it's a better looking convertible. Overall, I'm incredibly impressed with the car. I think it looks fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing one of these in person, especially in this color. I think this looks amazing, but I'm going to love seeing these when they actually come out. And I'm gonna do a video down the road of the four-door hardtop and the two-door hardtop. And when I finally get stuff on the JCW, you'll be seeing that as well. But I hope you enjoyed this little overview walkthrough of the 2022 Mini Cooper S convertible. Check out my playlist at the end of this video for the F57 Mini Convertible. Leave a like below if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. I read your comments all the time. I will respond to them when I can. And as always, before I let you go, I'm just gonna remind you that life is too short to drive a boring car, so drive a Mini. I'll see you all in the next video.